Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Aldo, or Swiss, and uh, as you guys may know, over this, uh, the news from the past few weeks and whatnot, and from a video that I've recently deleted just because it uh, seems kind of silly, And uh, but anyway, that I'm no longer on the previous team, and now I am on a new team, uh, which is the establishment, and uh, yeah, super proud to be on this team. Um, I will mention a few names here and there. Uh, the main man, Chris, I uh, really appreciate it. Really appreciate this um, experience that uh, I'm happy to be a part of and also this future for the team and just for this hobby in general. So in this episode, we're just going to be going over cars and some products that I've tested here and there and uh, some small things and also my new acquisition, which is my fancy, my fancy chassis, which is the, the Shibata. GRK that's over here, but we'll get right into that during the video. But yeah, let's get right into it. It's gonna be a fun video. I'm hoping not too much blabbing, but uh, yeah, hopefully the tuning videos keep coming and uh, we get right onto this. So just to speak more about on the body, this is a Yokomo, the R35. The paint scheme is just basically a uh, Tamiya paints with the, the red with Lemay flake. To, if I'm not mistaken, translucent red. Uh, my good buddy Chris ended up doing this, which is also the team leader for the establishment. And so I don't necessarily know exactly what colors he used, but I mean, it looks pretty cool when he's driving on the track. And so I'll put a video of that going going down. And uh, shout out to Zero Max RC for the awesome livery and getting this Gundam inspired printed out and also ready for us as, as the whole team. So have our, our brands that we run and, and also that we're partnered with RCO and so if you guys know Kevin or, or even my good buddy Jeremy you know that they're pretty cool guys and so really have to be uh, part of that you know so you have my name a uh, little winglet overall it's about the same length as the GR86 but um, the front end is a little bit longer still good uh, it's a little skinnier than I expected but it does lend itself to being a little bit more nimbler and uh, that's what I like and so going on from this we're going to be talking about the TTO2 which is hopefully going to be the chassis that I'm going to be running in this year's comp and so for the chassis that I'm going to be running is a TTO2 from Tamiya which has the MRC front end and uh, my electronics are the Rev D RSST. If I'm not mistaken, it's just a stock tune, nothing special. I have the OMG V3 Gyro, which is pretty solid, nice and lightweight, four grams. Uh, I have a big fan just to keep the motor cool because there's no flow, right? It's everything's down low. You don't have the motor up here. But and uh, for electronics, I'm running a little Hobbywing ESC, uh, my G Force. Kamui 13.5 motor and a high battery made by my buddy Eric or on, so on his socials it's Ewick with the W and uh, my shocks aren't anything special I'm just running the stock RevD shocks uh, these springs are if I'm not mistaken MST rear springs or MST stiff front stock springs and the fronts I'm running are just Yokomo uh, actually no I'm mistake these are rev d's so these are the rev d box kit i'm assuming and there's no uh no oil uh, the fronts are running 100 and the rears are running no oil uh, just kind of how it's felt okay uh, but yeah nothing special my gear ratio on this is if i'm not mistaken 9.8 or 9.6 because i'm running the 68 spur and a 17 or 18 pinion that's so around there same internal ratio as the yokomo which is 2.60 or just 2.6 is it really doesn't matter but that's about it i haven't really weighed it or anything and if you're wondering about wheels um or rims these are d likes and the fronts are top line and uh the rears are high traction and the fronts are not if that's something that you're wondering but overall, 
that's about it. In terms of Tamiya support and, and everything's pretty much plastic. The only, I mean, the only thing that's really fancy is this, the carbon tower in the rear, but even that you don't even need. So that's about it for the comp car. There's nothing special, seriously. It's just uh, how you drive it. I mean, that's about it. And so now I'm going to show you the new car that I bought. You guys may know this body already from my other chassis. This was actually on the TTO2 prior to me being on this new team. And so this is it. This is the new chassis. And this is the Shibata or R31 house branded, you know, RC Drift. Uh, this is the GS2. This GR, this GRK GS2 evo and uh might not become an evo much sooner with a couple more parts that i'm looking on getting such as a, a a ball bearing slide rack this is more or less like a friction slide rack but this thing is super cool and a uh, big shout out to the buddy in vegas tyler uh super cool really nice guy really honest guy uh supplied me with this and, and i really appreciate it really good really good deal that I that I got for for the chassis and, and, and a couple of extra parts but overall just describe it a little bit um, it's just pretty much stock has the weight shift or weight transfer special deck that came with the high battery uh, stock version um, uh, gearing is virtually the same uh, the only thing that was changed was it has a gear diff and it also has the smaller bevel gear to to get a wide feeling FDR and if I'm not mistaken I believe my gear ratio internally without spur or pinion is 3.25 so it's pretty big uh, pretty long uh, so it really requires you to run bigger pinions which also in turn allows you to run a slightly faster car but we'll save that for some other stuff so just to describe it a little bit it has titanium screws all around it has a couple upgrade pieces such as the arms and, and lower arm on the front uh, the toe blocks are also a little upgraded um, the titanium screws kind of fancy gives it that bling uh, my tires are integras in the rear and the fronts are overdosed. So unlike the TTO2 where the fronts are stiff, I keep on this one, all four are relatively soft and high traction. It just kind of helps with that high battery situation until I can really get a good feel for this chassis. Uh, the shocks are TRFs, to me a TRFs, uh, the special black coating and uh, the springs for the front are the Yatabe Arini, Arenas uh, for the front, for the P-Tile specifically. Uh, they really feel good. Um, the rears are just Rev D. And I will also do in a separate video something really small and, and simple. Uh, in the rear specifically, I'm trying the soaked O-ring from Scale Reflex. And so that's something I hope to... Uh, convey clearly and, and they really do feel good so I will get into more detail uh, maybe sooner um, and once I make a different video I already put out the shock video and just to recap I'm no longer on uh, Notachi as, as part of the team here in SoCal um, that video was just old and, and I decided just to upload it instead of remaking it uh, but yeah so it's pretty cool and if you guys have any questions on this chassis or, or this style of chassis, such as the GRK or even the TTO2, please, uh, I'd be happy to answer anything you guys have. So electronics wise, uh, I run my Hobbywing ESC, Rev D Absolute 13.5 uh, motor, uh, V4 gyro, R12 servo, and just a simple three channel Futaba receiver. And I have the weights here to counterbalance right and left it's still a little heavy i simply buy some weights but overall that's about it well, thank you guys for watching i know this wasn't really a long video per se but i hope you guys see something that you learn or that you rewind and you try and find it and uh, overall uh, yeah it's been pretty fun uh 
driving this body, getting to learn it. And uh, I hope you guys also learn something from what I'm showing you, not just because it's cool or whatever, but I really do enjoy the, the support and also the amount of help that I'm, you know, hopefully giving you guys. And again, uh, subscribe, like, and also comment anything you guys really need help on. Uh, hopefully I could, I could uh, provide assistance and, and give you guys a good, clear understanding of what I'm trying to convey. And also I'll, I'll try and keep up with the tuning video. It's just been a little bit wild recently, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.